I call this the window method. I've got stacks and stacks of 10 gigabit networking. It should be able to come out the rack, no problem. Where did I put the screw? There it is. If anyone knows what that means, please let me know. There we go, networking upgrade is finally complete. Ha <laughs> ha I have been waiting for today for a very long time. <laughs> What's up tech channel? Welcome back. Today is server room upgrade day. Oh, oh, oh! I got some new gadgets and gizmos. Would you like to take a look? Would you like to take a look? I'm kidding! You don't get a choice. Okay, so play hosting things have been going well recently. They've been going well and I have ordered a bunch of new hardware and I've already started installing all of it but I thought we'd do the last little bit of the install together and I'll give you a tour on what exactly is new. Come through. Look at this beauty. Ignore this. Ignore this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. It's 320 thread, 1,280 terabytes of RAM. Oh my God. Look at it. Hi, let me run you through what's new. So now, you might remember from previous video about networking, they're up on the side over there. They are now all properly racked into this new rack, running with the battery backup. And today, we're gonna be upgrading these, putting 10 gigabit private networking into every single box and giving them all access to two gigabit public bandwidth, which is gonna be epic. Let me show you what else is new. So lots of people actually felt the need to comment about my cooling situation. And this is the solution. Look at this bad boy. I just put him on. He just sucks air out that window and just absolutely jets it at the front of the server. This right here is an enterprise cooling solution. You'll see this in AWS any days now. They're going to adopt this. Microsoft Azure have been doing this for years. They just don't tell people about it. I call this the window method and it's cooling this whole room. And it's great because it only pulls like 100 watts. This is my biggest fan. Oh. You need to leave. What else is new, if you come down to the back of the rack now, you can see I've color coded my cables. I've got red power cables and I've got green SFP plus cables. And also I tried to do a little bit of cable management. You can see I tried to like feed these around together through different manifolds and bits and bobs, um, but they all come out the top here. It's kind of working. So yeah, I spent some time plugging all of these in. These are all connected to various different power supplies on the back here. One of these days, I'm gonna actually label these cables so I can remember which does what. This is actually crazy. Check this out. I ordered 15 10 gigabit network cards and I had 45 arrive. Look at this. I've got stacks and stacks of 10 gigabit networking. God damn. So yeah, that's all of the upgrades for the rack. Should we actually install some of these new network cards now? Let's do it. All right, it is time for the first upgrade. Let's start by powering this sucker down. The first server we're upgrading, this is a Minecraft network rack. They're an EU practice server. And we're gonna get them on the new network with the 10 gigabit ethernet card. So this 10 gigabit card is for an internal connection. So if they rent another box on the network, those two boxes can talk to each each other at full 10 gigabit. So we have some servers here that are owned by Minecraft networks that do have more than one box. So that connection's really worth it. Also, what we're gonna be upgrading is from going from a one gigabit unmetered connection to a two gigabit unmetered connection for a little bit extra bandwidth. So without further ado, let me shut this bad boy down and take it out the rack. I believe it should be able to come out the rack, no problem. If there is a problem, that will be awkward. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I've unscrewed the wrong box. Oh no. See, the worst thing about making these videos is that I'm always stressed that the people who rent these boxes on Play Hosting are gonna be watching the video and they're gonna see how it appears that I kind of don't know what I'm doing. But listen, I raise you this. First step of learning is trying. I just try really hard. Okay, here it is. I've got the screwdriver. Let's install this card. Top panel coming off first. Also, something I didn't mention. The good thing about this new network is that the upstream ASN of this provider we're using. So this provider is a proper like business provider. It's not quite a data center provider. It's not like IP transit, but the cool thing about this provider is that upstream ASN is based on Cogent and Cogent have very good undersea latency. Here's the network card. Whoa! Whoa! 
Look at him. Just gonna take this out here. It should be a quick install. I've done quite a lot of these. All right, am I gonna, am I failing? Am I failing as a human right now? No, I'm not. I've done it. Don't even worry about, where did I put the screw? There it is. There we go. That, nothing even happened. So now that card's in like that, we can just plop this back on, slide it in, and this is good to go. That is literally it. That's the whole upgrade. That just took us from gigabit to 10 gigabits. You, I mean, you saw me do it. It only took like five minutes. And if you're wondering how expensive upgrade cards like that are, that card there that I just installed is literally 24 pounds on eBay. 24 pounds on eBay. So 10 gigabit is now so, so affordable. Let's install the server back in the rack. La 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 Nice! All right. All right, there she is. All screwed back in nicely. Now it's time to do the wiring. Hey presto! Okay, last step of the update is to configure the new static IP for the box on the new network. Woo! Almost there. Final stretch. And if you couldn't tell, yes, I have been given a detailed list of instructions to follow by someone who knows how to do this way better than me. Woo! I think that's done. If you're wondering what commands I just ran, I ran IP add R add, then the IP address, dev, and then the interface of the new card we just installed. Then I ran IP link set dev, then the interface up. Right. Then I did IP root add default via, and then the default gateway. If anyone in the comments knows what that means, please let me know. Okay, if you're wondering why it's now nighttime and why my shirt's different and my hair's grown, it's because that's just how long it took to change every single network card in every single one of those boxes. But hey, it's done. <laughs> this here is the finished setup. There we go, networking upgrade is finally, finally complete. If you look down the side here, you can see None of these boxes are now plugged in with RJ45 connectors. All of them connected up to the core switch up there. And now, why don't we take a little bit of time to talk about what my plan is for play hosting. Now, I've got this new upgrade here. Now, where I want this to go. But let's go into a quieter room first. Okay, so as of today, I have been running play hosting on the side for six months now. And if you remember back around maybe a bit longer than a week ago, I released a video called My First Customer, where I explained everything about what I was doing to prepare to maybe have paid customers at some point in the future. And now, some time has passed since that video, we now have five paid Minecraft networks hosted on Play Hosting, with a combined average play account of 600 concurrent players, including our own free users. And as I've been working, and developing more and more of this infrastructure, I've realized that like, I don't know how to quite do it justice in a video vlog like this. Cause realistically, I can never capture all of the time I'm working on it because I have to communicate with all the different servers of when I want to turn things off, do maintenance, when I want to turn things on, which is while I've been working on this video, it got dramatically more and more difficult to keep you upgraded. My main mission for play hosting right now is I want to try to get to one thousand concurrent players online on the whole network whether that's paid server or free host which is hard because of this upgrade today with that massive fan calling the servers better that's just for the summer i'll work out something more permanent for next summer it's a temporary fix it's a band-aid solution if you will and why i've spent all this time upgrading the networking to private 10 gigabit and public 2 gigabit is all part of that goal and also it's a big learning experience for me and speaking of learning I think it's time we talk about the sponsor of today's video. Without the sponsors on this channel, I would not be able to afford to buy all those fancy servers next door. So this video is in partnership with Brilliant. They have been so kindly to come back to the channel and sponsor another video. And the reason why I love Brilliant so much is because I'm not particularly code savvy, but using their professionally made computer science courses, 
I've been taking in some serious learning, you know? My main reason I started this channel is to try to learn more and be able to make content and also teach myself something at the same time. And with Brilliance courses, I feel like it has only made learning stuff for me even easier. Whereas I'm a very hardware guy, I do want to learn more of the software. So thanks to their courses on computer science, I'm making progress. If you want to try out Brilliant for yourself, you can actually go to a link in the description and get 20% off an annual subscription because they like our community. They're a big fan of the Tub Pewters community. And if you go down to the description, you can use the link from this channel. Learn the same stuff I'm learning right now. Thank you so much, Brilliant, for sponsoring this video. You really allow me to keep the lights on here at Play Hosting. And you guys have been living legends. That's all I have for you this week, Tech Channel. You lot have been absolute wonderful. I also, I did spend a lot of time reading the comments on the last video. And I saw how many people were asking for a dedicated network video. Right now, I don't know enough about networking to make that dedicated video but I'm learning and I'll be working on that very, very soon. But if you did enjoy this little look at the rack upgrades I've been working on and everything else, please subscribe, helps the channel out a lot. All right, see you next week, bye.